two women are found dead following a suspicious fire in Providence. Now investigators are trying to piece together how they died and how the fire started. The Pinpoint News Tracker shows you where it happened on Camden Avenue in the Smith Hill section of the city. And we've learned the two and a half story home is now being torn down. Eyewitness News reporter Stephen Schuler has been at the scene all day long. He joins us not live now with new details on the victims and the most emotional reaction from their loved ones. Well, that's right, Susan. Right now, wrecking crews are taking down what's left of that foreclosed apartment building. Now, one of the victims actually lived across the street from her adult children who tell us they watched the whole terrifying scene unfold. Heavy smoke pours from the roof of this Camden Avenue triple-decker early Monday morning where a suspicious fire took the lives of two women on the third floor. My brother is the one that noticed the fire. He smelled the smoke and he woke me up. We ran outside and the house was covered in fire. It was real bad. Sandra Solar lives across the street and is one of the victim's daughters. She tells us her mother, 44-year-old Marie Calderon, and her best friend, 50-year-old Marta Romero, were trying to escape but couldn't make it out in time. They were up when the house was on fire. They were sleeping and once they noticed the house was on fire, they ran towards the kitchen to try to get out. Um, there was no way out though for them. Officials say the foreclosed building's other two apartments were vacant, including the first floor unit where the fire started. As investigators spent the day combing through debris to pinpoint a cause, family members set up a memorial outside the home to pay their respects. It was very hard to lose my mom, especially if, if somebody did put the house on fire. Why would they do something like that? I don't understand. Now, officials tell us they still consider this fire suspicious, but at this point, there's no clear sign of arson. Now, new at 6, we'll hear from Calderon's son, who tells us what, that he was the first to spot the smoke and his reaction when he realized his mother was still inside. For now, live with the developing details in Providence with the Mobile Newsroom, I'm Stephen Schuler, Eyewitness News.